Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Thank you so much for joining me for another planty video. Today we are going to be going ahead and repotting my beautiful Monstera Thai constellation. If you've been here for a while, then you know we've been on quite a journey together. Um, so this plant actually lives in Lekka and it is long overdue for a repot. Uh oh. This looks unwell. This looks unwell. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. <gasps> She's rotting again. <gasps> if you guys know, you know. This is really, really not good. Okay, what is this gonna be? The fourth time that this plant has rotted on me? No, look at how good it's looking too. Okay, well this video quickly took a turn for the worse, but we are still going to go ahead with it. Why don't I show you what I can see here? So usually the roots that I can see on the edge of the pot are all white and healthy. I can see that there are still some white and healthy ones, but look at how many brown ones there is. That is not good, my friends. And then these ones coming out the bottom are all just mush and pulling off. Oh, I think I know why this happened too. All of my plants were underwatered when the heat wave came. And I think that this was like bone dry and I watered it again. So that's probably why it rotted. No, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna rearrange myself here and then we are going to pull her out of the pot, take a look at what we're dealing with. Hopefully the roots aren't too bad. Hopefully. There is some healthy ones left. Okay, this is way more than I bargained for you guys. Way, way more, okay. Hopefully we've caught it early enough though. Just gonna dump her out. I guess I'm just gonna try to get all the LECA off that I can so that I can remove all the roots that I need to. It's coming off pretty easily because the roots aren't even grabbing onto it anymore. They're just mushy. Oh, I cannot believe this, you guys, I cannot. Okay, so now I'm just going to remove all of the roots that seem questionable, which is probably gonna be a lot of them. I tend to err on the side of caution. Um, I'd rather take off 
a little bit too much, then leave some that's still rotting. Oh, another piece of Lefka there. Okay, so it, it was mostly in the lower, like the bottom parts of the root system. So I'm gonna be taking like pretty much this whole bottom part off. I literally cannot believe this. Anything that feels soft comes right off. Um, anything that is dark brown is coming off. You have to be pretty ruthless when going in and doing this. time that I filled up the water reservoir this thing was completely fine so <sighs> rot goes fast like once it starts better get on top of it Okay, so I just removed a lot of roots. That's just some of them. There's more in the LECA that I just moved to the bathroom because it smells really bad. I'm gonna have to boil that and pick through that later. Um, but this is, wait a sec. This is what we are left with. I'm not 100% certain that none of these have started rotting, but I'm just gonna have to monitor this really closely to see how it's doing and remove anything that looks suspicious. I'm just weary to cut off more than that. Um, we will see how it goes. Um, it does have really good aerial roots. I could actually take a cutting right here. Um, let's try to show you. I could take a cutting right there and root up these two leaves, the largest leaves, but uh, I don't know, I really don't wanna cut this plant, but would that be the smarter thing to do? You guys vote below, let me know in the comments, should I take a cutting of this plant? Um, it would be a good kind of insurance policy, perhaps, um, in case, in case the whole thing decides not to make it. I don't know, let me know what you think. I would really love to just have like a large plant of this, so I'd rather not cut it, but it might be a smarter thing to do. <clears throat> I can always go back and do that, you know, whenever, whenever you and I chat, so um, yeah. So my next step is going to be to rinse these roots really well. I'm gonna take this to the sink, give it a thorough rinse, and then I'm actually gonna soak it in hydrogen peroxide for a little while just to hopefully kill off any of the bacteria. Okay, so I'm gonna let this soak in here for, I don't know, half an hour or so, and I'm gonna go deal 
With this nasty mess right here, I'm gonna boil this leka and kind of pick through and get rid of all these mushy roots. Look at those. That's so bad. Oh, it stinks. Okay, I am back. This has actually been soaking in here for probably like 45 minutes or so now. It ended up taking me so long to boil the leka and try to get all the roots off of it. Um, it's actually still in the kitchen. I'm boiling a portion of it again. Um, but this is clean rinsed leka. So this is different stuff than what was in the pot before that I've just washed off so that we can use makes things easier and feels less sketchy. So I'm gonna go ahead and repot this guy up into a new pot. It's the same pot, but a new one. I washed the other one and I'll just use it at a later time for a different plan. I'm just too sketched out to use it right now. But yeah, I'm just going to throw some Leka into here. Okay, so this is what it is looking like. You can still see some of the roots along the side there. Um, basically it looks like it did before, except way, way, way less roots. So I think that for this plant right now, I'm actually going to use the shower method. So every day I'm gonna rinse it instead of filling up the reservoir with water. By the way, I've scrubbed this. It's still going to be sitting in that pot. I've scrubbed it with soap and hot water, so it should be fine. Um, but I'm just going to pour some water with Super Thrive through this to water it for today. And then I'm just going to repeat that while I monitor what the roots are looking like. And hopefully it does okay. I honestly cannot believe that this happened. I was not expecting that at all. I thought we were just going to do a nice fun repot into that bowl and I was so excited. But that's okay, these things happen, and let's just hope that she pulls through. All right, that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I will definitely keep you updated on the progress of my Monstera Thai constellation. Hopefully it all goes well. All right, I appreciate you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.